Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to share a tool that for some of you like myself, if you edit a lot of videos, might be very useful. This video is sponsored by the new Dodgy V20 Dual 5G with a 3 camera setup. A 64 megapixel main lens, 8 megapixel wide angle lens, a 20 megapixel night vision lens and a 16 megapixel selfie camera. On a 6.43 AMOLED display with a 2K resolution, taking rugged photography to the next level. I will leave a link down below. So the tool is called After Codex. I did try it on macOS and also on Windows on this machine, Asus Tough Dash F15, which is a laptop that I'm testing out. And soon I will share my review here on the channel. But that's to say that this plugin works flawlessly on Windows and macOS, which is great. Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and also Media and Code. In terms of the features and things that I did like the most, and I'll show you an image on screen. And also I leave a link down below so that you guys can check all the features but in my opinion things that really stand out are the consistency on the way that I work with several codecs and without using QuickTime but still using MP4 and Morph codec. If I want to use ProRes in Windows and older versions of Windows for example this is great. If I want to use a great compression on H.264 and H.265 really fast then this is also great and finally to optimize my workflow between these tools whether it's Adobe Premiere, After Effects or if I use both of them with Media and Code. In my opinion these are the main features and there's one that I really love, which is multi-render in Adobe Premiere, which I will share with you in just a few moments. In terms of the installation, both on Windows and Mac, it's really easy. By the way, I will leave the link down below, as I said, and you can download the free trial version where you can try it for yourself and see if it works on your workflow or not. And if you want to optimize the workflow in that direction without having to pay anything before you are sure if this is the tool for you or not. And in Adobe Premiere, doing a normal timeline, playing around with one of my videos that changes right over there. And then in terms of the exporting, which is where this plugin comes into action. The thing that I did notice is that if I use the plugin, everything comes a lot easier to my eye. Even myself that I'm used to use Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, I'm used a, a few tools in terms of video editing, but when I use the After Codex plugin, it gives me consistency, especially between Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and so on. And besides that, it gives me more consistency than the main menu of exporting that we find on Adobe Premiere. So this is great and it works really awesome. I just need to figure out which settings I want. For example, if you want H.264, but if you want it optimized already for YouTube, you can do that and the file will be exported in that format faster and with the great optimization. And there are a lot of them which I will not mention, but you can see right over there. And what you find in Mac OS, you will find also on Windows. So the plugin will bring all these features along, which is just awesome. Now, this is a great feature because it will optimize my work here, here, everywhere that I use Adobe Premiere or After Effects. But there is one tool that in the past I've used, which is the multi-render, but I didn't use the tool. I did it manually and I spent hours doing so because if you want to cut a timeline or if you have a big project at the end and if you want to render a few clips or a lot of clips on that timeline, but individually, one clip of five seconds, another clip of 10, 20 seconds, doesn't matter, then we can do that manually by adding markers and so on. But after Codex has a great implementation right over here, which I did really enjoy, which I can add individually markers or I can add all the markers to my project and it will export all of them individually with the sound respectively for that clip, which is just a awesome feature. So on all the features that I did find right over here, on all the tests that I did, the multi-render feature was one of those that in the past, when it happened to me, I wish I knew 
after connects because this was a awesome tool to have back then now besides the multi-render uh, i did also test it out in after effects which one of the tools that i really use a lot and if you don't know my portfolio i will leave a link down below with some of my projects that i've got in after effects i did use one which is the dramatic film strip photos designed by me in after effect quite a long time ago but still a project that i love it's a bit heavy on some machines but works great and this kind of project is a template that i designed and we just need to replace the pictures replace the text render it out and that is it and if you render with after codex it's even easier now in terms of after effects we will find another really positive thing if you use premiere and after effects they both have similar ways of exporting but they are different and if we use the after codex then it will start to be exactly the same and there we go consistency along our workflow which is just great the same formats that we will find in adobe premiere we will find here in after effects effects the same menu the same workflow everything really consistent so this was the thing that i really enjoyed passing from premiere to after effects effects to premiere and finding this consistency in terms of rendering times the tests that i did were that the plugin does not slow down the rendering time if it does a change it fastens a little bit the rendering time but i didn't use any chronometer or thing like that so i can't give you any scientific numbers but i did find normal for the rendering times that i'm used to on my machines and then if you use media encoder which personally i do not use with the exception of one situation or the other that i really am forced to use media encoder but i know that some of you guys do and if you use media encoder then there is the option also to use the after codecs and you can put to the render queue uh, projects from after effects projects from a dom premiere and so on and so forth and then just select after codecs and the workflow will be exactly the same that we find on premiere and after effects and once we are happy with the settings just press the play button and export the project the way that we want and basically this is it now i would suggest you guys to check the link down below check the auto chroma website there are a few plugins this after codex looks awesome works really great and there are a ton of videos built by the team at auto chroma which will explain a lot of stuff a lot of tutorials some of them written some of them in video which will help to understand better in more detail what we can do with this right over here just want to show you how easy it is to use this plugin and that being said hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one